Hello guys and welcome back to Chillington. Now then, um, quick things you probably noticed there. Yep, yeah, I've decided to move the bales into this shed. Simply because the ground, I've started to, well, I did quite a few more bales. And the ground was really quite uneven there. Um, so it caused the whole thing to mess up. So what I am going to do is, well, they were bales from the field um, that I've just got um, and I'm just gonna go and get the bales that are in the shed well not in the shed um, the bales that are currently still in the field or down in that little bit by the cows I'm gonna go get them now so hopefully it will all work out okay um, and it also looks a bit neater there as well. And in the field, they're a bit... Wow. Well, they weren't as nice as I'd like them to be. So stick on auto load. It should be a full 26 bales there. Yep. Right. I really do like this lorry. It's more farm-like. That man was kind of going on very long routes on the road um, so yeah like I said I'm gonna be moving this whole stack into that shed like that there um, looks neater looks nicer um, it's pretty much just easier to get the bales as well you can also see how much of a stack you've got left so let's jump into JCB, looking a bit dirty. Um, right, how many more bales can we get onto here? Five, six. Can we get six more bales on there? Um, now I'm going to try. No, I'm not actually. It's a stupid idea. It won't work anyway. In fact, it possibly would work. I'm going to try it actually. What? Um, right, so if you see where my two bales are, I don't want to have to like get a bale, have to just have one bale on spikes, I want to have four, that's uh, two on there at all times, don't have to mess about swapping them around or anything. Um, so, pretty much, come on, ah. Um, I'm going to try to just stack two at a time because I reckon on that second stack if I just stick one on the edge um, then it should fall down and hopefully um, go where I want it to go I need to get a bit further in there how much closer can I get Right then. Oh, whoops. Very bad idea. Right. So, let's go grab another two bales. We have some like 58 bales, I think. Let's have a quick look. Nope, 61. Close enough. Um, so, yeah, nice amount of bales. Be nice if we had a few more, but um, we're going to get to that shortly um, as well. Because I am going to be doing multiple harvests in that field, um, I'm thinking I'll probably end up doing a harvest um, pretty much every time I'm just about to run out of bales. So I should never really ever run out. I am going to try to fill this up and so we can get a nice amount of bales. So I don't want to really be running low and have to like worry about getting a quick harvest in on one of the smaller fields. Um, it's, just, uh, it's just a bit of a pain really if I end up doing something like that. Um, but 
pretty much is going to be a lot of wheat that I do, possibly barley, because you do get a slightly better price for it. Um, and you can also get... Well, we can also bale fields with barley. Um, maize, a whole ton of that we're going to do. Um, as we can get easy money for it. And, well, I mean, just once we've got a really nice amount of money, we can buy the crone, the maze header for it, or possibly even just the uh, maze header for the DLC forage harvester that we have. And we don't like that, but it would take a while. However, I do have a course plate, and I've seen, well, I've set it up on a number of occasions do maze and empty it so we could do that and to be honest I think it would work really nicely right that's not going to work um, or will it actually shove two bales on there Wrong button. Um, if I just get, because I know that there are one too many sets of bales here. Um, just put them on, actually. Just get the ones from here. Put them on. And I can use two and then I just need in fact I'm tempted to take that bale off at the top there um, and as for example if I'm ever going to put a front loader on that T6 I kind of doubt that it would be able to get up there um, to be honest I do want to make it realistic with the bales that's why I'm that's why I, well keeping them inside is a bit better than keeping them outside um, would be nice if that shed, well, or if all these sheds were a bit more level than they are. It's like, particularly around the edges, they've got lots of like broken up bricks and things that just alter the position of everything. It does get a bit annoying. Um, what's happened here? Ah. There's a gap there. Does that bale stick out at all? No. Um, rather odd. Oh uh, well. It'll be fine. Um, that, pretty much that is as wide as I'm going to go. If I go any wider, it means I have to go taller. Um, wouldn't mean that I have to go taller, but also it means I have to uh, fight with the pillar that's holding up that shed. They're just easy to get to. So I'll wait, still waiting for that to ferment. I'll have to uh, I'll have a look at that in a second. <laughs> Alright. Um, jump out, have a quick look at how much this has got. 56%. Um, so we c how much is in here? In fact, no, because that's not 56% that's in that. We, can, we could actually speed up time. Um, right. Got these bales to stack. Um, then, but what? Um, not even 61 bales. This is what here be 54 bales. Um, 54? Is that right? Hmm. 
No. That's not right. Sorry, 52 bales here. Um, if I can, I'll try to fit these on the top. Um, so what, 54 to 52 bells, there. Um, apparently we've done 61, but I did know that I did get rid of some. Well, well, well I did take the JCB down to the field and get up 1.5 meter bales, because I didn't actually think that it'd fit on the trailer which I originally had, which they wouldn't have done, they just messed it all up. So I ended up taking that off. Um, well, taking them bales off. I think that's what. Must have been about. So in fact, no, there were six bales, because remember, I had them all, six of them, on the front of this JCB. Yeah, that T6 would. Probably never be able to reach up there. Right, let's get this sorted. Pretty much what I want is for this bale stack to come out here to the edge of the shed and then I'll stop. And quite a lot of it will be done off screen. I probably will end up doing another tra well, big trailer like that, 26 bales on and using that for mixed rations things like that um, mixing with the silage out of that clamp I just messed that up and it's pretty much I don't as well do that so I don't have to take bales straight off of this stack okay, I can kind of just leave them don't even know if this is the best way to stack the bales in this shed. Probably is. Less likely to roll away. The fun part is doing this. More interesting part. What do we want? Tunnel on there. As I put a bale in there to stop, all the other bales just rolling out the side. So I if it's how many six more on there? Unfortunately, I only have five here because that's how it works. I'll possibly end up taking some. If I know that was brilliant. Five there, so pretty much on the next time I do some bales, the next the load I get, which won't be this episode, I don't, um, then I can pretty much just stack them on the top. So I'll do these bales and then we'll stop, um, possibly do a bit of baling, I don't know. Um, but we need to get that silage all moved the other clamp so we'll speed up time slightly so that well, we can move the silage that's in there well when the silage is done chaff fermenting then I can put it into the other clamp it's pretty much that clamp I'm going to do in fact actually it depends which one has the higher percentage in which one I move over. For the other clamp, I'm gonna do that maize silage. And um, so that's grass in there. There's grass in both of them. I've never done maize on here, I don't think. I've done whole crop. Never maize. So that's gonna be a nice thing. Um, you can do on here. Also, it's something to do with combining, waiting. Means you're always doing something. Might be an email. 
Right, I'm happy with that. So, I'll park this up just here. And then, actually, it's a comment. Is that. Yes, it is a comment. Um, right, that's helpful. Um, so, speed up time, and that comment I'll read out just just a second. There we go. Oh, 23%. Which one has more in? 15. So, not. I'm really tempted to use the conveyor belt because that is quite high. Yes, I'll ju just see if the conveyor belt works first. Um, I'll try to read out that comment. Useful comment, actually. I've got a couple of comments, I think. Let's have a look. Right, so Craig Sterling commented, great video. Thank you, my friend. Um, let's try to find that comment. Let's go into the video. Oh, that is steep. Very, very steep. Ah, I won't move it. Okay, um, right. Long video, turn that down the volume. Um, where are we? That video, I think. It should be, anyway. Right, yeah, so, Craig Sterling, great video, smiley face, thank you. Um, oh, I know that won't work. Let's read out. Farmer Joe says, in real life, dual wheels are commonly used to prevent soil compaction, um, supply more grip to the tractor and improve stability. Small tractors can go on the road with dual wheels if they are under 3 meters wide. Most large tractors are over three meters wide with dual wheels, so the dual wheels will have to be transported separately. Okay. Um, so soil compaction. That's pretty much the same with the tracks as well, because the tracks there's a lot more surface area, um, so the footprint is a lot lighter, um, especially with rubber tracks as well. I don't know what as concrete, not like metal tracks tanks possibly. But I don't know if they have to have like rubber bits on them. Um, but anyway, we've got to jump into the other JCB. And that was on episode 37 of Chanington. I think, what, what's this? 30... 38. This is 39 I think. Hmm, quite good. Right, um, let's try to get it all stacked up at the back here. All right, sorted. Um, so yeah, that's all of the comments. As well, the Facebook, I think I said that in another video, that's open. Um, there's a link down in the, the description. Um, so yeah, also at the time of this recording, we have 190 subscribers. So, a thank you to each and every one of you. Let's see if we can just push it on to 200. 
and that would be grand. If we could get to 200 by the 1st of December, or in fact, the 30th of November, that would be absolutely amazing. Be what? <laughs> 10 months, 200 subscribers. So it's alright. When you look at people like Daggerwin, unbelievable amount for how long he's been doing it. Um, but he's really committed. His videos are really good. Um, right. This bug break is amazing. It's probably not the right thing to use on this, but it works. Which is really good. Um, also, it makes actually well, filling the equipment a lot easier, well, filling the mixer wagon a whole lot easier when we have this on. Move like eight ton. Um, but this will be moving down to the main biogas plant because that is where we're going to be doing selling and that from, and from for the maize. Um, I will move a bit of it up here, possibly. Um, I'll just just put it in here in the first place. Put it in the other clamp. I think I'm going to keep this slight bit of a ramp there. So it makes it a lot easier to get up. Right, let's jump on top of that other clamp. Put on my silage on there. Let's do it. It's unbelievable trying to get up here. You often can't. Come on. Steep. Really, it's really steep on that part there. Isn't such a great thing. If we can get eight on every time. That'd be really good. We can push that up to 30%. I'd like, really like to see what these clamps are like when they're full. Like 100% full. We're on 12%. We're getting through it. Quite disappointing though that I couldn't use the conveyor belt. I'll just show it over the wall. But well. How much is in there? 27. We're going to be rocketing through this. Just waiting for it to come up with a message saying it's too full, you can't have anything else in it. Still quite high. Thirty percent, that's nice. Probably not the most realistic way of doing it, but I have to get it moved. I would like to take out this wall here, have one massive clamp that's kind of split into two. So you can like blank it over only partly, well, only part of it. So it's split, still be split into these two sections, or possibly even four. Um, so that it does make it easier. Don't do this. I think it's quite nice and full now.
do this in cap. How can there be 141% of wheat in that T8? No more free space. I was waiting to come on top of here with that JCB and just fall off. 36% so we got to move it down the climb a bit more. How much is left in here? At 18,000. That's okay actually. It's only a couple, a few more trips. Two and a half. So we're gonna have this quite nicely done. I'm not gonna focus on grass and haymaking and that for a while. However, we do have the baler, so it's gonna be something that we end up doing at some point. Um, so my main plan is have straw bales and hay bales in that shed there. And just so they're all in one place. Um, tempted to do a couple of wraps bales because I do quite like them. And they're also nice and easy to do, especially with that baler. Which is left in here, two thousand. That's all right. So not even. This clump isn't even half full yet. Here, why is it filling up there? Oh well, this will be fine. So we'll have a nice empty clump ready for another point in time where we do some silage. So that is that empty. I really do want to take out the weeds and that from in there though. It's one thing I would have done. It'd be a nice clean concrete clamp. Uh, let's just see if we can tidy this up. That goes straight onto there. Oh, and then not means odd is it where you have to fill a certain point yes it is oh well let's just have to do that won't we oh getting a bit stuck aren't we Oh, well, I was deciding to fill up part of that. Um, so, I'd say I'm quite happy with the amount of silage that there actually turned out to be. Um, so, that is the end of the episode, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video, as it really does help. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.